Welcome to the Stanford Urology Program. We're hoping that this short overview of our residency program will give you a chance to get to know us a little bit and also to see what an amazing place this is to train. I chose Stanford because the relationship between the residents and between the residents and the faculty was really just nothing that I'd seen before. It was so collegial and friendly and it really felt like everybody respected each other as equals. Most important things for me was getting a great surgical training, getting great clinical experience, having great co-residents and faculty, and being in a great location. And I found all of those things here. For me, what truly sets Stanford Urology apart is the culture that we have over here. The fact that every single day that when I come to work, I get to be my true authentic self is honestly the biggest blessings that I could ask for in a training program. Our intern year is split into six months of general surgery and six months of urology at Stanford. Our time on general surgery is valuable in that we develop important relationships with our surgical colleagues. In our PGY2 year, we are the primary consult resident at most sites. PGY3 year, we continue our training, but this will also be our first time leading a team as a senior resident on the pediatric urology service. PGY4 year is our research year. It's a formative year for us, allowing us to hone our research skills, take a step back and assess our career goals. The university also allows residents to audit any course and many residents use this year to learn programming for statistics or some residents have taken this opportunity to seek advanced degrees. After research year, we return to clinical training as PGY5s to be chief at the county hospital and senior resident at Stanford. And finally, in our sixth and final year, we lead as chief at Stanford, the VA, and Kaiser. I can say having spent my residency and fellowship here, I learned something unique from each one of those experiences, from the patients and from the surgeons. At Stanford Hospital, our team consists of all PGY levels, from PGY1 to PGY6. We need such a large team here because this is where we take care of the most patients. Our volume at Stanford is so high that by the end of PGY five year, you'll already have completed all of your case numbers. So as chief, you can actually tailor your last year to focus on what you want to do. Palo Alto VA is a surprisingly busy service as we care for veterans up and down the West Coast, Nevada, and even Hawaii. At the VA, we are granted autonomy and responsibility from early on in residence. The Spinal Cord Injury Unit is one of the largest in the VA system and provides a tremendous experience with urologic issues that accompany spinal cord injuries. Santa Clara Valley Medical Center is our county hospital and level one trauma center. At our safety net health system, we serve a diverse patient population with unique pathologies. It provides an opportunity to ensure that you'll operate at a high level on complex robotic, endourologic, and reconstructive cases. As fifth years, we also have our own chief clinic where we can take on the role of being the patient's primary provider. It's overseen by an attending, but you see the patient, diagnose them, and come up with the plan. I remember seeing a patient who I diagnosed with testicular cancer. We removed the tumor and saw him in clinic. He thanked me and gave me a big hug, and that's just an experience that I usually don't get to have in residency. Just next door to the Stanford Medical Center is the nationally ranked Lucille Packard Children's Hospital. The Children's Hospital dedicates itself to providing top tier care in obstetrics and pediatrics, and is one of the only five level one pediatric trauma centers in all of California. As a third year, you become the senior resident of the service. You spend a ton of time in the operating room, you're managing the floor patients, and so it's really a good opportunity to take on that responsibility and learn how to be a leader. Kaiser Santa Clara is where we go to get a ton of extra operative experience. You also get to learn from surgeons who operate at a high volume and have years of experience outside of the traditional academic setting. At Stanford Urology, we understand having diverse teams allow us to deliver better care. We also understand that as leaders in our field, we need to advocate for social equality and address the disparities in healthcare. Our department has a formal director of diversity, equity, and inclusion, who's in charge of DI efforts, both at the training and faculty level. We take pride in providing equal opportunity in training the next generation of urologists. 
It was one of the first experiences I felt challenged, emboldened, and confident in an OR setting. Being a black woman in medicine, there may not be a lot of people that look like me, but when I came to the field of urology here at Stanford, I truly felt like I could fit in, have fun, but really be challenged to be the best urological surgeon that I could be. Another priority here at Stanford is the mental and physical health of our residents. Every residency is challenging, that's no doubt, but it shouldn't be a detriment to your health and wellness. We recognize that the responsibility for resident wellness starts at the top, and over the last few years, we've taken into account resident feedback, and as a result, implemented changes in our program and offer resources to anyone who needs it. What really stuck out to me too was how responsive the faculty was. You know, that's something that doesn't always come across on a website. But when we had some sort of concern or ideas um, about how to improve the program, how things were, could be structured differently, um, we were always heard uh, and they always made a huge effort to make us feel super supported and that's extremely unique. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us for this quick look at our urology residency program here at Stanford. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions and we look forward to meeting you soon. I feel like Stanford has absolutely 100% prepared me for practice. I like it so much that I decided to stay here for oncology fellowships. <laughs>